my first talk in English. I'm like this, so <laughs> if I switch back to that French accent, please bear with me. Uh, but I'll try to do my best. So I'm here today. Thank you very much for having me. I'm a customer success manager in HubSpot. I work with uh, clients in the UK, in France, and all across Europe uh, and Middle East. And today I'm going to present the uh, inbound updates. As you know, every year in September we have uh, the inbound in um, Boston. Uh, <laughs> so here's the few announcements. Uh, we broke it down uh, by the use you will have. Um, as you know, we have. All, loads of resources uh, available on our website. Uh, if you ask your customer success manager, if you ask Digital 22, you have everything you need to know, uh, a YouTube channel to uh, all these announcements, but it's better to have me, I guess. Um, my slides are way less entertaining, um, but my um, nickname is very often Thor, Thor, so like you have the real deal. Um, so we broke it down uh, by the first section will be how to make your life easier and faster in using the, the tools. Uh, then about the marketplace where you can find quarter one uh, and all the announcements on the sales hub on Facebook Messenger because we built another bridge uh, that you can use. And obviously um, for people using some parts of the platform uh, for free, you will uh, see some uh, improvements. Um, these announcements this year are less about new products. Uh, we released a service hub in 2018. This year it was more about like optimizing your experience on the platform, how to optimize your life. Um, so I won't announce a financial service or whatever, uh, but loads of improvements. Um, we try to yeah, reduce the number of clicks you will have to make uh, across the platform. Um, so this is mainly all about this. First of all, uh, as you know, loads of people will first uh, fill a form with their professional address, come back with their personal address, come back with another address or whatever. So we really wanted to make your life easier by deduplicating the contacts and the company, it's a new section that you can find on the platform. Uh, there's a, an artificial intelligence that will help you find the uh, duplicate, um, so you can massively uh, merge these contacts instead of going one by one um, and remove them. Uh, as Richard stay, said, I have loads of slides, so if I go a bit fast, tell me, <laughs> and I can give you more details. Um, so additional ways HubSpot has become easier to use. Um, you will be the judges. Don't uh, hesitate to ask us <laughs> if you have any ideas. Uh, workflow management, it's a really serious topic when you build workflows with the if-then branches, you really often have to send different uh, communications to have different actions uh, depending on what are the behavior um, of your prospects. So you had to rebuild every branch one by one. You can now build, uh, build a bridge between uh, some sections of the workflows um, and just reconnect if the final actions are the same, just yeah, rebuild that section. Um, native lead ad uh, uh, creation. So as you know, HubSpot is, like the purpose of HubSpot is to have everything under the same roof. Um, very often LinkedIn, Google, Facebook ads are easier to build or more effective to build on their platform. But we created that section to create the lead ads on Facebook directly from HubSpot because you are uh, experienced on using um, our creation and design managers. Um, so you can directly create them from your platform. And as you can see, it's from the free CRM to the start of the pro, the enterprise. Uh, so create these lead ads directly and send them to, to Facebook. The new template editor, you already have it, uh, all of you in your email section. So in the marketing tab, emails, and under the folder on the left, you can um, use that drag and drop new functionality to build your emails instead of having to code or to, um, to create new modules uh, all along which just saved your lives building these emails and reduced the time by 50%. It's my uh, estimation, but you will, you will do it as well. Um, the Knowledge Space Editor, if you're using it, it's what you can find on the help button uh, of the household platform on the bottom right. Um, you have pretty much answers to every question you might have. Uh, we offer you the possibility to do the same for your own platform, your own product, your own services. Um, I made very much easier to, to build them um, from now on. Sales automation updates. The purpose of the sales tool is to save some time to automatize loads of follow-up, to automatize the tasks and automatize all this stuff. Um, you can, for example, the, the, the purpose of having a smart uh, forms is to ask a question, like ask more questions to some people and just to remove them. We want to remove the friction uh, from your prospects, your clients, 
and, uh, and yourself. <sighs> My talk is really not entertaining, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's really basic. If you have any questions, just go all, uh, along the flow. Um, HubSpot grew in terms of employees, in terms of platforms, in terms of clients, and so are you doing. The, the goal of us is to help you grow and to add new product, new, product, new features, new functionalities all along. Um, we want you to have that seamless experience of growing with us and of us to grow with you. So here are new functionalities. The app marketplace that Richard was mentioning, if you're to find Carter One, it's now on the main page of HubSpot. So instead of going into your profile and finding Marketplace, you cannot find it. It's okay. It will be here. <laughs> Sorry, this is not uh, up to date. You will have the Marketplace directly from the from the main page. As we said with Richard, we have more than 200 integrations, so you can find it very easily now. Uh, they're dropped down by functionalities, but what is the purpose of finding new integrations? Um, yeah, another way to ease your life. Uh, spend a bit of time in, in there because um, as a customer success manager, I have the experience of having loads of my customers that, that don't have uh, integrations connected. It will change your life in terms of data, in terms of finding customers where they are. Um, spend a bit of time there, really. It's, it's one of my biggest uh, advice today. Facebook Messenger with uh, chat flows. I can't rem remember the exact figure, but like billions of uh, Facebook message, uh, messages are being sent every day between their customers and the companies. Uh, you can now have the chat flows uh, that are maybe already on, the, on your website. You can automatize some uh, question accidents and forms uh, directly on Facebook if your clients uh, need to reach out to you. Um, and you will see it's uh, available from the conversation tab. So you will see all the emails, chat, uh, no messenger on the, uh, on the same place. Excuse me. <clears throat> same tool in the conversation. Uh, you will have the support form directly into your conversation. It helps you gather all the communication streams under the, under the same place. And you can see the forms are like the automation that you have on your website. You can see all the answers directly from the conversation tab. So you can deal with your uh, customer's requests or asks um, way faster from now on. Ami, too fast on the, on the slides? Are we okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> um, advocacy and automation. With the service hub, um, sorry, I forgot to detail where, which are the, the subscription where you can find all these tools that you have this uh, on the screen. Uh, advocacy automation, prior to this, you would have the NPA scores the, that you received alert for. Uh, from now on, you can just uh, build some, not exactly workflows, but like follow-up emails or to send your customers questions depending on what is the score they would give you on the, um, and the NPS. Um, it's another improvement on how you can deal with your customer's frustration. I'm sure there's no and your products are amazing, but another uh, way to, depending on what's the score, depending on who's that person who left the, the note, the mark, um, yeah, to automatize the, the, the follow-up and maybe ask for more details or just to thank them for um, giving you the credit of your work. The chatbot improvement. Uh, how many of you uh, are using the chatbots on your website? Okay, a good half. You should all do this. Um, and with the new, uh, the new way to, to build them, you have, so the beta, uh, the beta is running now, so it will be released fully in a, in a few weeks or months. Uh, weeks, I think. Uh, I don't have any dates. Um, but from now on, you can, um, it's pretty much the workflows in the chatbot. So depending on who are your customers, what is their behavior, who they are, etc., you can ask their uh, different questions and depending on their, their answers to adapt your uh, automatized communication um, to them. Attribution reporting. This is a huge announcement for uh, enterprise customers that happened uh, this year on both revenue and attribution reports. So you probably, most of you try to create reports and to see where is the revenue coming from. Uh, prior to this, we had the attribution report on what was the first touch, what was the last touch uh, between your, your visitors and, uh, and your company. Uh, we now have several uh, attribution models in order to show you not only where does that customer come from, but what was his path all along the, your website, what was the content he downloaded, what was the, the emails, the landing pages, the blog posts, or whatever, 
everything that had an, uh, an influence on, their, uh, on you signing the new customer um, under the same roof as well. Pricing and packaging. Um, we changed uh, some aspects of our packaging a few days ago on 1st of November. So for example, the sales hub professional, um, we added these new features, the sequences improvement. Um, I don't have too much of details on, on my slide on the sequences improvement, uh, but you have like way more room to uh, personalize your content uh, and emails you would send to your, to your prospects. The buy now button to uh, automatize the, the buying from your customers onto your website. Um, obviously, they are say, your sales love to sell, but if you can do it in just one click, um, well, use this one. <laughs> well, oh. The e-signature, it's not a HubSpot technology. Uh, HelloSign is uh, you know, like natively integrated to uh, HubSpot, so you can, yeah, another way for you to remove friction from, from your sales process. And finally, the calculated properties um, onto your uh, contact details. Um, as you can see, the pricing increased uh, slightly lately uh, from $400 a month to $500 a month for five seats. Um, do all of you have the, the sales hub uh, in your companies? Yeah, most of you. Uh, something I forgot to mention at the beginning, we have YouTube videos being released every month with more details about these announcements. I'll make sure to send it to, to all of you. Um, you will see how, the, how this works. Uh, marketing Hub Startup changed slightly as well. Um, will uh, change uh, very, very, very soon with the adding of the landing pages that you can build directly from the Marketing Starter. If you're not on the Marketing Pro or Enterprise, you can have clickback emails, so it's automation um, right after someone uh, subscribes. So it's pretty much the same, the thank you emails, um, the thank you emails uh, right after someone downloads the content. Instead of building a full workflow, you can do it directly into the, into the form section. Um, and you have access to landing pages uh, that was dedicated, like only uh, reserved to the Marketing Pro uh, subscription before. Finally, as I mentioned, um, if some of you are only using the marketing feature, you have access to the free CRM. If you're using only the sales uh, hub, you still have access to free CRM and some uh, marketing uh, functionalities. Uh, this is something, something we had it, uh, lately. The free mail with, the, with that feature presented in the beginning with the drag and drop uh, features. Um, already from the free CRM, you can uh, have access to building your emails instead of uh, asking the developers to draft the, the whole template. Uh, you can find them directly here and send them obviously from the platform. The free ads, um, you can also uh, monitor the effectiveness and the impact of the uh, social ads and um, SEA directly from HubSpot to see what was the impact through your sales process. Um, it was, yeah, before, prior to this, uh, reserved to the starter um, subscription and pro enterprise, you know, have access to this uh, on the free version. Additional resources, um, I still don't have a joke for the end of my presentation, but you have uh, everything, again, we'll make sure to send uh, to all of you. Um, the, the videos of the announcements, you can find the recording uh, of the inbound uh, conference that took place a few weeks ago. Um, or simply ask me. Uh, we have room for a few questions from now. Fire away. It was a lot in a very short time. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You've heard today this? Yeah, I've got, I've got a few questions. Tell me. Um, the Facebook Messenger aspect, mm -hmm. uh, how, what type of information does HubSpot hold to allow that messaging to work to the um, well, if you have the integration with Facebook, you will have some, uh, if, for example, your uh, prospect comes from a lead ad, you will have access to some information from Facebook. On the chat flow with Messenger, it's the question you ask to, to, your, uh, to your visitor. When they're on, their, on your Facebook page, uh, the chat flow will uh, ask some questions that you, uh, you create, sorry. Um, it's pretty much what you ask. Right, so there's, there's no need to do any type of authentication Slightly technical for me. Um, it's like it, it's it's pretty much the same as like when they fill a form on your website to yeah. download some content offer. Like they ask you some questions, so it's like their uh, kind of responsibility to give you some information. I'm not sure I'm replying to the question. Um, if you want to send me an email right after, yeah. uh, I, I can like bring some more uh, details on this. Yeah. 
Uh, another question is, do you, I haven't really looked into it too much, but I know there's a um, HubSpot agency network that you can find, mm -hmm. but is there like a freelancer network? Okay. So say I need some expertise in the Manchester area, and I'm looking for a freelancer, I don't know why. I get your point. No, we don't. We like the, the agency directory on our website. It's only uh, partner agencies like Digital 22. Um, so we only reference our partners because uh, there's a strong relationship between us and, and these agencies. For freelancers, I guess you will have to find, like, there, there are some platforms to, to, to reference some freelancers. I can help too much on that front. Sorry. Thanks. You're welcome. You had a question, I think? Yeah. Um Loads of great updates there, so thanks for sharing. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots of people looking to try some of them. Which ones would you recommend um, you try out first? Which ones are maybe the best uptake? Among all of these updates, um, depending on the subscription you have, obviously, um, w which product are you on? Sorry? What is your product like? What do you have? Uh, full package. Full package, great. <laughs> Um, I say, I'd say, um, do, do you generate all your prospects through the, the web, like not all of them, but like, do you rely a lot on uh, lead generation? Yes. I'd say the multi-touch attribution report uh, is a great feature. Um, it's more like how to get the data and like to know your, uh, your, your prospects, where do they come from, what was the path, not only to know what, what information they're looking for, but also to optimize your campaigns for, for the future. Um, it's a great one. Um, the workflows uh, bridges is also a, a kind of a light changer because you don't have to build everything. Are you on the marketing front? Uh, no, you're in uh, analytics? Uh, operations? Operations. Operations, <laughs> sorry. Um, so if you're using the workflows, uh, I'm not sure it's like the, the, the most critical. Uh, but yeah, the, the attribution reports and their revenue uh, attribution, a huge part of uh, the analytics. Thank you. Uh, just on that, um, I love the attribution reports and I think that's not yet. Uh, it's before the end of 2019. I don't have a release date uh, fully now, uh, but coming very soon. Yeah. Any other question? How's my accent? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> No? Well, thank you very much. You're a great audience. <laughs>